Welcome back. The U.S. Navy is testing information warfare cells during an exercise later this year. That's some of what we learned at our recent C4ISRnet conference, where reporter Mark Palmerlow spoke to the Navy's top information warfare officer, Vice Admiral Jeffrey Trussler, about the service's plan. The CNO has previously discussed this notion of potentially piloting information warfare cells, you know, at the fleet level. I don't know if there's anything you can offer about that that concept or, or where it's at, or just the notion of of what an uh, information warfare cell uh, looks like. Oh, uh, great question. And uh, I think that uh, you know that concept is being talked about right now because we've been so successful with our information warfare commander at sea on the strike group. Something that started back in 2017 is uh, it, it is now uh, uh, solidified. Every strike group has uh, one of our composite warfare commanders as we divide up the warfare areas in a strike group. One of them is now is the information warfare commander. And so we've taken somebody, instead of sort of the uh, classic Napoleonic structure of how staffs are organized and how information and problems uh, are dealt with and solved, so in that arena where I just talked about common operational picture, how we're going to take advantage of electromagnetic spectrum, when we should transmit, when we shouldn't, when we should radiate radars, when we shouldn't, uh, taking into it, uh, seamlessly pulling in the, uh, the intelligence, seamlessly pulling in the oceanographic and meteorological data to how we might use that to our advantage. So instead of taking, uh, you know, classic warfare officers having them integrate among several, we've now put this IWC in place. Hey, that is your job. Integrate this, these disciplines and environments into the best decision space so that the commander can take advantage of point at one unit, one cell, one, one commander and uh, take recommendations or give orders to that can affect some of those things. It's worked out uh, very well. Uh, I talk to every strike group commander that comes through the Pentagon. I ask him specifically, how is that uh, uh, IWC concept, you know, working? And e to a man, every a man or woman, every one of them love their IWC uh, and love love that concept. And now it's been ingrained so long. Now, four years, I think we're going to kind of lose track of how did we used to do this before? So, so successful out there. What about our maritime operations centers at the big, uh, you know, the, the fleet where the fleet commanders operate, uh, the Joint Force Military Maritime Component Commanders, those big where the decisions are made, where the operational level of war takes place. The same concept is being discussed. Should we have an IWC construct here? Little and different environment that out with the strike group. Uh, but the concept merits some discussion. We're having that discussion right now. Uh, it will even be uh, uh, experimented with during a large scale uh, exercise that the Navy is going to conduct uh, later this year. We're going to, uh, one of our uh, fleet commanders is going to test that concept out in their maritime operations center. And we're going to take some feedback from that uh, and look at it. So uh, it, we think it's a powerful concept. We think it's just a continued maturation of the information age, and we need to manage that information differently, not only with the tools we want to develop, but with how we process that in the decision making of a commander and his staff.